Hey guys, welcome back to the final week of distance learning. This is going to be week nine, day two. Uh, I'm going to read you all of the directions. After I read the directions, we're going to answer each question with about one to two sentences. And then finally, we'll write three to four sentences for the final question. Okay. If you have any uh, questions during the lesson, please feel free to reach out to one of your teachers for additional assistance. Okay, day two, gathering information. Objective, today you will begin to use your annotations to gather information. You will organize your notes gathered from your informational text research in order to answer questions about the text. Directions for activity one. Read text from six, seven, and week six, week seven, and week eight. Remember to annotate them for answers uh, to your questions. Uh, the texts they want us to read are electricity and magnetism, electronics may confuse a bird's compass, and magnetic fields and magnetic compasses. Um, I just want to reiterate the fact that all of these texts are inside your packet. All you have to do is flip back through them. I've also created a separate YouTube video for each text if you need help with the reading of each text. Okay. Um, let's see, where was I? Right here. Using evidence from all the texts of uh, this unit, weeks four through eight. Answer the questions you asked on day one. List other interesting facts you learned from reading. Use these details to support you in creating your culminating task at the end of the week. So all they're really asking us to do is to answer our questions from day one, Q1 through Q4. And there's actually one final question at the end we also have to answer, okay? Uh, remember, our focus question was, how does magnetism and electricity improve the lives of people? So here goes my Q1. How does electricity help people in their homes? I've given an example sentence here uh, just so we can have a little bit of, uh, of an idea of what we might want to write. Uh, so my example sentence is electricity powers most of the devices we use in our homes such as televisions, refrigerators, computers, and tablets. Okay, So that directly answers the question. Of course, I got all that information from the text. Okay. So let's look at question two. Our Q2 was, how does electromagnetism help people travel? Okay, so again, I've given an example sentence. This is going to be the last one to give an example for. The next two you do on your own. My example sentence was, electromagnetism is used in the motors of our cars, boats, and planes, right? Um, let's look at our Q3. Again, this one's going to be uh, on your own. Q3, how does electromagnetism help us to find our way if we are lost? So I want you to think about how electromagnetism helps you to find your way if you are lost. Perhaps there's a device you can use. That's a hint. And I want you to write one sentence that explains how electromagnetism can help you if you are lost. I'll give you about 10 seconds. Okay, great. So we know there is a device that uses electromagnetism to help us find our way. That device is called a compass. So your sentence should have explained how a compass can help you to find your way if you are lost. Let's look at our Q4. How does electromagnetism help us to light our homes? Great question. Think about how electricity helps you to light your home. I'll give you 10 seconds. Okay, so we know that our answer should have included that electricity is used in devices such as lamps that help us to use, help us to light our homes. Uh, final question, and for this question, I want you to write at least three sentences, maybe four. This question asks us, based on all you have read, how does magnetism and electricity improve the lives of people? And of course, there are so many different ways to answer this question, but I want you to think about three ways and give me three separate sentences about how electricity and magnetism helps us to improve our lives. I'll give you about 30 seconds and then we'll end the day.
Okay, guys, um, that's going to be the end of our final week, day two, week nine. Uh, if you have any questions, again, please feel free to reach out or replay the video. Um, I wish I hope everyone's staying safe, and I look forward to seeing everyone soon. Take care.